That sucks. Oh my God, look at that complexion. Problem areas. Makes me upset. And turn this face into full glam using Jones Road. Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube. And today I'm not wearing a tank top. Wow, it's fall and I thought, why not? Actually, it's way too hot to be wearing the shirt. Anyway, today's video is a full face of Jones Road. I love a lot of Jones Road products and I have already done full face of Jones Road before, but it was more like the classic Bobbi Brown look, the classic Jones Road makeup look, which is just very, you know, simple, clean. But today I wanna show you that you can also get full glam with Jones Road. So that's what we're gonna do. There are a couple products that I do not have from them. One, an eyebrow pencil. Two, an eyeliner because I cannot find my Jones Road black eyeliner. So I selected one that's very similar to the formula. And I also do not have a lip liner because they do not have lip liners. So lip liner, an eyeliner, and a brow pencil. All right, let's go ahead and get started and turn this face into full glam using Jones Road. Now here's the thing. I looked for my Jones Road pencil liner, the black one, for probably a good hour and all. I cannot find it. And I have resigned the fact that I will find it as soon as I am done filming this video. So that sucks, but we have one that's very similar. So for my face prep, I am going to use the Miracle Balm in Golden Hour. I love to use these under foundation or just on my naked skin with mascara and go, but Golden Hour has a little bit of gold shift in there, gold bronzy shift, and it just gives you that look of like gold, Golden Hour hitting your face. So I like to apply the Miracle Balms when I'm applying a foundation over, just right where I need moisture the most and right where the light will hit me the most. And they are just very perfecting and moisturizing and really give you a really nice and beautiful glow. Now for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Jones Road What The Foundation. I have a full review on this. I ended up over time really loving it, but if you would like to see a full review, wear tests and all that, I will have that linked below. And I am using the shade Light, and I'm just gonna use what's on the cap here, and I'm going to just use just a tad bit, okay? And this is a clean Jones Road Everything brush. And I'm only going to be applying this foundation right in the center of my face because I really don't need that much coverage. My skin is really going through a really good phase right now. And I swear to you, it is the Current Body LED Mask as well as the Zip Halo, which I talked about in a recent sponsored video. This isn't sponsored, but like these two devices have really changed the way my complexion is and the evenness of my skin and everything. I'm just very thankful to have found these two. So if you've noticed a difference in my skin, that is what I've been doing differently. I still use my first skincare, my Walita Skin Food for eye cream, and that's really it. My skincare is much simpler as I get older. So I just don't have the time to really worry about, you know, all the just bells and whistles and my skin's so sensitive I really don't like worrying about the bells and whistles and now I'm just gonna press that into my skin with a very lightly dampened beauty blender so since we're going a little bit smoky a little bit full glam I'm gonna keep the skin pretty simple and yes my hair is wet I'm going to be filming my curly hair routine after this tutorial and you'll see that in the end so if you want to see a tutorial on how I get my hair the way I want it when it's curly. I'll link that below if that goes up after this. All right, next for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Jones Road Gel Bronzer. If uh, you've seen any of my latest content this summer, you know that I love the Jones Road, the gel bronzer. And this is in the shade medium because light is just, it's too light. And I'm gonna use the butt of a beauty blender. Now, if you prefer no bronzer, definitely don't use any bronzer. I love a good bronzed face, especially, I mean, it's not full fall now. You know, I don't mind faking a little sun well into September. And this gel bronzer in medium has a more red undertone, so it really makes you look sun-kissed like actually like a little bit burned, but not in a bad way. Now for concealer, I'm gonna use the Jones Road The Face Pencil. This is the shade one. You really can use this as like a touch up product or just a spot treatment, like spot coverage product and not wear any foundation. That's also really 
great to use this for all of those things. But today I'm going to use it to conceal my dark circles. I would love to see Jones Road come out with an under eye corrector. I feel like they would really do really well with that since Bobbi Brown is so good about undertones and all of that stuff and kind of color crush. I mean, she just knows how to make someone's face look super alive, you know what I mean? Now to blend out the crayon, the crayon, the face pencil, Le Crayon Visage. I'm gonna use the Gabby Rose Concealer Brush. This is a super unique, flat, very nice and dense concealer brush, and it helps you get your concealer all the way up under here, and you can really have control where it goes, and it maximizes coverage. So that's one reason I love it, but it is my new favorite. And I just love supporting Gabby Rose because she's a wonderful person, and her brushes and products are really beautiful, and I just feel like lifting up the women that have been hurt so much by you know who. So that's the goal. And if her brushes were not good, believe me, I would not talk about them, but they are heavenly. And none of them like have any kind of prickly areas, but look at that. Look how beautifully that blended out the face pencil. I mean, and it gets all the way up under here. So if you have puffier eyes, okay, like I do, it's really nice to have a brush like this. I have no brushes like this at all, okay? And it just, oh my God, it applies and blends concealers beautifully. Oh my God, look at that complexion. Jones Road products, oh my God. I love them so much. And then when I get them, like do a full face with them on, I'm like, <sighs> I need to use like the full line more often. Okay, for right underneath the eyes, I am going to use the Jones Road, the Tinted Face Powder in pink. This, out of all of the pink powders that I have tried, they're, you know, they're great to cancel out darkness and like color correct, you know, different undertones and things. But this is my favorite pink powder that I own. And I own quite a few, trying all the new ones out, but I have used the Laura Mercier Translucent loose powder in rose for a very long time and I have raved about it. It's a little less tinted than this, but it still brightens and sets. And I feel like the this pink powder just gives me such a nice brightness to my face. And I am using the Gabby Rose Pro O2 and I like this for precision powder application. And you can use very minimal product because this powder brush is so dense. So you reduce the product you use. And as you can see, what's so amazing about the Jones Road tinted face powders is that they set and oh my God, it's the rest of the day set and it blurs. And my larger pores are around my nose. So applying this down here is wonderful to blur those problem areas. And as you can see, you can get a very mattified effect. Now I'm gonna go in with the Jones Road tinted face powder in Universal. It's just translucent. And I'm gonna go in with the Jones Road powder brush and I'm only gonna lightly dust this where I'm gonna go back in with other powder products. And look at that, you still get like a nice glow. I'm actually now going all over my face because <laughs> I really liked the way this looks. Okay, so we're a little bit all dusting, just a little bit all over our face and boom, we're ready to go for the eyes. I'm gonna apply my eyebrows real quick, get back to the brow gel. All right, we're back and now it's starting to storm and yes, I did take a little bit of time to look for that eyeliner, I cannot find it. Anyway, I've used it in other videos. I'm gonna use the Jones Road, the brow gel. Now I have used the light brunette shade. This is the clear shade. The light brunette just ended up being a little too warm for me. It's got a duo end here. It's got longer bristles on one side and flatter bristles on the other. So I really like to brush up my brows like that and then go in and correct and kind of calm anything down with that flatter side. And I like my brows to be a little fluffier right here in the front anyway. So I leave them brushed up and then go in and tame and brush down with that flat side. And it just gives me like, I feel like the best brows of my life. Uh, I read that on the website that the, the brow gel was like Bobby's obsession with like Brooke Shields eyebrows, like those big, beautiful 90s eyebrows. I wish I were blessed with those. I am obviously not. All right, now comes the time where I would be using that eyeliner I still can't find, and I'm not gonna talk about too much because it makes me upset. So it, uh, an eyeliner that is very similar is the By Mario Master Pigment Pro Pencil. It's very deep in black, like the Jones Road eyeliner, and you have workability, and they both 
they boast. They both last a very, very nice long time. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this eyeliner and I'm just going to look straight on and create a lower wing. It's really been my favorite recently. And all of this is gonna be smudged out. So we are not gonna freak out. You can also use a brown liner, but this is gonna create the shape for us we want in the end. Ooh, what if I was like, and done? Now I'm gonna take the best eyeshadow, and look at this gray color, in smoky gray. And I'm gonna take a refer 02 and smudge that eyeliner out with this shade. So it'll definitely soften it up, but keep it pretty deep. And I'm just keeping my eye open since I have hooded lids to make sure I am keeping that winged area right where I want it. And making sure that this doesn't disappear once I close my eyes or open my eyes. That's what I'm trying to say. And just pushing back in because I don't want to take it out further. I'm just going to take a little bit of the face pencil on a MAC 212 and go ahead ahead and clean this up because I got a little out of control. All right, now that that's all nice and cleaned up, I'm gonna go to the other side and do the same thing and just keep my eye open and start from the bottom of my lower lash line and wing out and bring it back in a little bit and take it through my waterline. Now I'm gonna smudge with smoky gray and try not to get out of hand. <laughs> Makes me upset. All right, now comes the fun part. I'm gonna use the Just A Sec eyeshadow in the shade Cool Brown. I'm gonna take that on a Gabby Rose Pro 08. These are like a bouncy, they remind me of Chanel's The Old Illusion Dom formula. And I'm just gonna go right over on the outer part of the lid, but they have that same like really nice bouncy texture, but it dries down to a powder. Not dries down, it really sets like a powder. And it can be blended like a powder shadow, which is super nice. And I'm just gonna take that right through here, right like that. And the best thing about Joan Road products is like they're meant to be played with like once they're down on the face once they're applied to the face you really have work time and they're all like brush and finger friendly that's one thing that I have had to kind of learn more about using the products is to not be so afraid of them like they're really easy to use and you know over time you really kind of learn the best way to apply is really any way you want I could go directly with my finger into the Just A Sec eyeshadows and it would look just as beautiful, just a little bit more sheer, but wear just as long. I mean, and then blending with your finger, it's, you know, it takes just a sec. The ease of use is really what I love about the Jones Road brand overall. And the products perform and look beautiful on the skin, in photography, you know, you can tell that a makeup artist created the products to be used by professionals as well as everyday people that just wanna look good. <laughs> All right, next, I am gonna go ahead, flip that brush side and go in to the Just A Sec Shadow in Linen, which is a nice kind of warm golden champagne shade. And I'm gonna go right into the center of the lid with this as well as all the way up into the inner corner. And yes, I'm taking it right over that eyeliner. And look at that, you could apply mascara and go. But I have a couple more things I wanna do. And I'm just gonna do the same thing over here. And if you do have hooded lids and you start applying shimmery shades, go ahead and tilt your head back, apply them a little higher than you're comfortable with because that's really where they're gonna show is kind of like above your eyelid. So then, you know, you, shadows and the, the time you put in, you know, pays off. People will see it, it'll show up in photos, all that good stuff. Now I'm gonna go back into the Just A Sec eyeshadow in Cool Brown, and I'm gonna take the very tip of that same Gabby Rose makeup brush, and then I'm gonna smudge this along my lower lash lines for a really nice, smoky lower lash line. And these Just A Sec shadows do not crease, crumble, they last throughout the day, because like I said, they set as like a really nice, fine powder shadow. All right, now to deepen up the outer portion of the eye, I'm gonna go into the best eyeshadow in dark brown. I love this eyeshadow. It can be used as a really beautiful eyeliner as well as a really nice, true dark brown eyeshadow. I'm gonna use a Gabby Rose Pro, Pro 05. It's a really nice, very small crease brush. Really helps you apply deeper shadows with a lot of precision. And I'm just gonna take that halfway through the crease and outward towards the tail of the brow. And I'm gonna blend that out with the Eye Master. Really nice, dense, soft eyeshadow brush that gives you 
uh, really major control over blending. It can push pigment around and blend at the same time. All right, now that I have my eyeshadows where I want them, I'm gonna reinforce the darkness of the black pencil. Imagine this is the Jones Road eye pencil in black. It is so good, <laughs> but here we are. So I'm just gonna apply this right back into my waterline and then keep my eye open, start at my lower lash line and just take that same smudger brush that we used earlier, smudge and just smudge going straight out because now once we apply mascara, that's gonna look like a little bit of an extended eyelash on the outer part of the eye and just kind of lengthen them. I'm just starting right here and I'm just gonna smudge that out straight. All right, to top off the eyes, I'm gonna use the Jones Road Sparkle Wash in Midas. It's a really nice comp complimentary golden champagne liquid shadow that just gives, now if you want to stop and get like shimmer, gorgeous kind of glossy lids, stop here. This is gonna give you larger glitter and shimmer. And I am just going to apply this to the inner portion of the lids because I always want a little more glitter in my life. <laughs> I love when minimalistic brands appreciate like a good shimmer and glitter. And to me, Jones Road is really like a minimalistic type of makeup brand. So that's why I really wanted to create a full glam look for you to show you that you can be that like clean aesthetic girl makeup deal, but you can also do full glam with Jones Road. Now I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this just a sec shadow right here on the meat of my thumb and take a gap Abby Rose Pro 11, which is a really small little tapered brush. And I'm gonna apply this to the inner corner as well. Wow, the weather is kicking up and getting weird. It was thundering and it got dark and now it's windy and very sunny and now it's getting dark again. Okay. I've really been into a very kind of bold inner corner highlight again since doing my Victoria's Secret Angel makeup look and I'll link that tutorial below because I know that that is going live before this. So I am back on that little trend. So I'm gonna apply the remainder of the Midas liquid shadow right underneath my brows as a highlight. Ooh, <laughs> I love it. That sucks. All right, now I'm gonna use the Jones Road, the mascara. It's deep, it's black, and it's volumizing. Perfect for a full glam smoky eye. IMO, so I'm just curling my lashes. And now for mascara. It is so volumizing, so black. I really wish I could find that eyeliner, but like I said, I've resigned to the fact, or have I, because I can't stop talking about it. I've resigned to the fact that I will find it after this video is finished. I'm finished filming this video. So that's one coat. And I'm a good two to three coat kind of gal but I love how black this mascara is. And it's really good in black for when you don't wear much eyeshadow, your eyelashes look so long. Did that make any sense? I'm still coming off of a good week long migraine. So do you have migraine brain? Go ahead and give this a like if you understand that. <laughs> All right, now that mascara has been applied, I mean, oh my gosh. <gasps> Is this not like smoky, cool girl, gorgeous makeup? I feel like it is. All right, for blush, I'm gonna use the Jones Road Blush in Pop. This is such a beautiful shimmery pink, classic, classic Bobbi Brown shade in my opinion. She always uses like pink shades to bring out the life in people's faces and I love Pop for that. It's so pretty. All right, I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 106 brush. I thought that I lost this baby. I did not, she's right here. And I'm just gonna apply this to the apples of my cheeks. Look at that. Do I not just look so much like happier and cheerier with pop on? This is honestly, I mean like, I'm not a big pink girl, but to pull off a pink blush, I feel like pop is it for me with my yellow undertones. And y'all know I'm about to drape the crap out of this. Now for a little extra bronze, I'm gonna go into the Jones Road, the bronzer. And this is in the shade Golden Tan. You could leave where you are with your bronzer, but oh, I love this bronzer. It's just like so finely milled and it actually like, I feel like it blurs. So I like to just add it towards the back of my face, work it towards the center of my cheek, but not go all the way. And I feel like it really just gives the face the warmth it needs for a smoky eye like this. 
and it really nicely blends your blush. And now I'm just gonna go right back into the Jones Road, the powder brush, and I'm gonna blend all of that together with whatever powder is remaining on the powder brush. So we'll kind of just blend everything and set everything further in place. Last item for the face, highlight. I'm gonna use the Jones Road Shimmer Face Oil. Now that sounds like, and this is in the shade Midas as well. This sounds like it's gonna break up, but a little too much. It sounds like it's gonna break up what is underneath, but it doesn't. I It's like the perfect blend of like an oil and a liquid highlight type of product. And I'm just gonna go right in with my BK Beauty 106. Look at that glow on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to press this on the high points of the face where light naturally hits my face. It might be a little different for you depending on your bone structure. So tops of my cheeks, my nose, top of my lip, my chin. I really love a good glow. And these are also great for your collarbone and your cleavage. All right, for lips, like I said, I do not have a Jones Road lip liner, so I am subbing what doesn't exist with Anastasia Beverly Hills lip liner in hazelnut. It's a nice neutral nude on the cooler undertone side. And then for the lipstick, I'm gonna use the Jones Road The Lip Tint in Nude Mauve. I love these lip tints. They sound, the product name makes it sound like they're really sheer and like they're not gonna show up, but they do. And they're so comfortable to wear. They have the perfect pigmentation if you want your lip liner to show through, but it's pigmented enough to make you look like you have a lip color on. All right, let's do some hair magic and I'll be right back. Into full glam using Jones Road. All right, you guys, I am back and finished with my hair. And here we are, it is taking up the entire frame. But this is the finished Jones Road, full face of Jones Road. I love this look. I feel like it's super glam. Yes, I did add a very lightweight type of lash. It is Lily Lash Cans. So yeah, like the Cannes Film Festival. Cannes France, yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's the style. I'll have that linked below, but that's the only thing that I added. I just felt like it needed a little extra glam, but if you want it to look, put it over here like this. This is what it looks like without lashes. You saw that before, but here is finished, done, full glam, smoky, full face of Jones Road. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments what full face brand, I should, full face of a brand. What brand should I do a full face makeup tutorial up next? Leave that in the comments. Give this video a like if you do in fact enjoy full face of one single brand videos. I feel like I thoroughly enjoy those types of videos because it lets me know what I wanna shop from certain brands and I can kind of like cherry pick like what I want. And so I hope this helped you decide maybe to try Jones Road for the first time. I really love the brand. I think it's very easy to use. You can get quick glam to full glam with or without lashes, you know? And if you can find your eyeliner, girl, I cannot tell you how many times I've looked for that eyeliner while I've been finishing the work day. I can't find it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see a more natural look using a, all of Jones Road products, I will link that video below and I will see you guys in the next one. You know, I'm gonna go outside and my hair is gonna get even bigger. I'm trying to embrace it, you know? And uh, my curly hair routine should be up. If it is, I'll link it below. Makes me upset.